I'll be honest with you, I was never really the biggest fan of the BMW X4, or the BMW X6 for that matter. I always thought they were silly cars for even sillier people, because they're big, but impractical, and SUV-esque, and yet not very good off-road. They were just the ultimate oxymoron of, well, to be frank, useless things. But then I drove the all-new BMW X4, and that's somewhat changed my mind. The visuals of this all-new car still remain Marmite, but for the 200,000 people who bought the previous model, the combination of stout SUV proportions and a coupe roofline will still be attractive. All of the BMW hallmarks are there, including the large kidney grills, but standard LED lighting certainly adds some intricacies. The overall design is more muscular than before, with broader shoulders and a generally wider stance. Ultimately, how a car looks is subjective, so let me know what you think of this in the comments. This particular X4 is the 20D, and that means that under the bonnet is a 2.0-litre diesel engine that's good for about 190 horsepower and 400 newton metres of torque. Thanks to the standard all-wheel drive X-Drive system, the car will get from 0 to 62 miles per hour in about 8 seconds. The engine itself is pretty responsive, although a little gruff under load. Things do soothe whenever you get up to cruising speed, and overall refinement is pretty good. Changing gears is the responsibility of an 8-speed automatic transmission, which, when left to its own devices, does a pretty good job. The changes are smooth and well blended together, and the box never really feels caught out even whenever you hustle the X4. However, whenever you engage manual mode and use these paddles, I do find it a bit wanting. It's not necessarily the fastest of gear changes. There is a little bit of hesitation. So really, leave it in auto, and that's where you'll get the best of it. The really impressive thing about this new X4 is the way it handles. Given its tall SUV stature, you would expect it to lead and wallow through the corners. But it's four centimetres wider than before, which means it's got an increased footprint on the road. That's good for grip, and that's also good for lateral stability. This M Sport car, as well as having all of the sporty bodywork, has also been optioned with the adaptive damper, so you can firm everything up to adjust the steering, throttle response, and dampers as the mood takes you. There's a real sense of composure when driving the X4 quickly as the all-wheel drive system enables plenty of security in all weathers and dishes out the torque appropriately to each corner. The steering, whilst not the most communicative thing in the world, is actually really precise, so you feel like you can place this car exactly where you want it on the road. It actually makes it quite enjoyable to drive at a bit of a pace. If you're familiar with the all-new BMW X3, this interior holds no surprises. It's the latest generation of plush materials and brushed aluminium. It feels expensive. It feels like a real quality product in here. You'll find things such as ambient lighting and this large 10-inch touchscreen display which houses the latest iDrive infotainment system, which, in my personal opinion, is the best infotainment system out there. It's just very ergonomic, easy to use, and absolutely packed full of useful features. Leather comes as standard, but M Sport models also get these nicely bolstered sports seats and a chunkier steering wheel. In the back, there's more space than before with some added headroom, although six-footers are still going to struggle back there. Legroom is actually plentiful, and overall the seating position is greatly improved over the previous car. You're not really squatting on that rear bench anymore. Boot space is 525 litres, which is just 25 litres smaller than what you find on the more practical X3. And also that load lip's nice and low to make loading bulky stuff in the back even easier. An option box definitely worth ticking is this glass panoramic roof, as not only does it add more natural light into the cabin, but it can also be opened on sunnier days. BMW claims that this 20D emits 142 grams per kilometre of CO2 and will return up to 50.4 mpg. If you fancy a new BMW X4 in your driveway, it costs from £42,900. Thanks very much for watching and let us know what you think in the comments below. Please subscribe for all of the latest and greatest cars to hit the road. For breaking news and written reviews, visit www.insidelane.co.uk.